I think the big story of the day had to be Heat 12 around three. It's the best heat we've seen this year. Gabriel Medina on the backhand, all power. But nuts. Stu Kennedy, the injury replacement, just speed and just electric on his first turn options. Well, and I, I mentioned that about the before the heat, the mind games had already started. You know, Stu Kennedy made that effort because we know that Gabriel Medina wants that inside. And, and, and whether it, it changed the, what the first waves were, it changed the mindset of Avery Medina. He moved away from him and then it was on. Strider, so much of a heat is won before you actually even stand up on your board and, and ride a wave. And Stu Kennedy getting the inside, like Pete said, at the start of this heat really made the difference. He also said how comfortable he was on his board. You know, he's been, he said he found a new rhythm and a flow this week. He said he's been loving the way the confidence is just, he knows what's going to happen. And for him to go out there and come out that fast and go into these maneuvers, so critical, just, I mean, it was just what I thought I knew, you know, what we were going to get. I had no idea. Stu's got next levels and he's probably in surprising himself. He's from Lennox Head, a right-hand point break. Guaranteed he doesn't even surf this hard at home sometimes when he's free surfing Pete. He's bringing <laughs> everything he's got to these heats, and he has to, because so far he has plowed through Kelly Slater. He's overcome Gabriel Medina, and Medina wasn't lying down in this no. heat. Have a look at this performance. Yeah, Med Medina was, I saw him. I was down on the inside. I saw the facial expressions. I saw his, you know, his, the reality of how bad he wanted it, he worked to keep the flow on every one of these waves. And when he got to the inside and he went back to town, he was going vertical on the inside, going straight up, doing tail whips after. You know, he'd already done 10 maneuvers on a wave. I mean, it was just mind-blowing, the physical fitness that was playing into it. Right here, I mean, he's just blasting away. He does not stop. Look at this guy. And you know what? He went all the way through the inside. At the end of this wave, he just threw it down like he had it. And, you know, in most cases, he would have. But reality was, Stu was on fire. Is there a more powerful backhand on tour, Pete, no. than, than Medina? Well, there's, there's moments, I think. But no, I think that, that you're right. The projection that he gets in and out of his transitions, um, we, they feel powerful. Um, and that's why. It's not just the big, powerful snap. It's the bottom turns that lead into it. It's the projection that he gets out of the lip. All of that stuff is very powerful. It's down the line. It's fast. And all of those things are so appealing to watch. And one thing about Stu Kennedy, too, that equipment is very unique. It is a very unique design. It's shortened. It's, um, you know, Daniel Thompson's Tomo. He's the one who shaped that thing. It's got a funky little tail on it. And uh, I bet you that a lot of those boards are going to be start flying off the racks. It is a Slater design, too. It is. Surfboard. Yeah, it is. Stu Kennedy also beating Kelly on... on Kelly's equipment, which was interesting. <laughs> Ross Williams True. made the point. He said, when Kelly paddled up the shoe, he said, sorry, Stu, you're off the team. Yeah. But uh, no, of you're course, fired. it's great for Kelly to have someone performing yeah. like that at the championship tour level on his board. So